What's up, YouTube? It's just Brandy, and let's talk marriage boot camp reality hip hop edition. So, this last episode was the lie detector episode, and all the couples got to ask a question for their significant other slash partner um, to be answered during the lie detector test. Um, it was facilitated by um, the judge. Um, Judge Lynn Toller and she had each couple stand up individually and you know was basically like you know what information do you want to know during this lie detector test and um, then the jury of their peers was supposed to you know say if it was a good question or not which nobody really said that anybody's question wasn't bad but the judge did change a lot of questions um, basically for a lie detector test you want the answer to the question to be yes or no instead of a long, you know, drawn out explanation. It's it has to be boiled down to something that you can say yes or no to. So um, the judge went, you know, person by person. Um, and some of the weird ones were um, like Dime, her significant other, her fiance. Um, he wanted to know if she had ever cheated on him since they had been together, which she's like, wow, she was like stunned that he even asked that because evidently he's never asked that to her, but it must, it must be something that he's wanted to know. But he did say that he had been cheated on in the past and before he got married, he just wanted to know. And according to the lie detector test, when the results came back, it did show that she was deceitful when she said that she had never cheated on him. So um, what the counselor said was, this is the opportunity for you to have a discussion because what is considered cheating? What did you do that maybe in your heart, you you feel that it's cheating, but it may not be cheating, which for women, it are, you know, it could be something as simple as I was still talking to my ex. And Dime likes men and women. So, you know, could have been a woman. Um, I flirted with somebody. You know what I'm saying? It could be something like that. I mean, I, I don't know if a lie detector, you know, can really get that deep or whatever, whatever. But hers did come back deceitful. Um, Waka Flocka and Tammy's questions were, oh, I think his question was, would he act, would they get married within a year? I don't know what his response was. Um, if it was yes or no, I'm assuming he said yes. But, um... Waka Flocka and Tammy's questions were his, um, do you want to be with Tammy, I think, for the rest of your life, maybe, something like that, which he said yes, and it said it was true. And then Tammy's question was, will you ever trust me? And she said no. She answered no, and it came back that she was telling the truth. And she's like, I mean, I don't feel like you really want to be with anybody else, but I just still don't trust you. And so she was honest. And obviously, they had those questions. That's why they're there um, because of those trust issues. You try to figure out how to rebuild, you know, that situation or whatever. That's a very complicated situation because he's done. He cheated on her multiple times, so there is no trust there. But can you have a marriage and be in a relationship if you don't trust your partner? And would you want to be in a marriage or relationship where you don't trust your partner? Um, you know, it's crazy because it's kind of like, well, if you don't trust him, then why are you with him? How could you, you know, how can you, it's like, then do you have to be with him every moment of the day? Or do, are you just now just resolved to the fact that you can't trust him and whatever happens, happens? I, I'm not quite sure. Um, Tiffany and Fizz, their questions were, have you been, um, exclusively dating anyone else in the time since we have been broken up and both of them um have been dating people fizz said no he has he said he had been dating but not exclusively his show deceit tiffany's um i think she said yes yeah, she had been um dating somebody exclusively or whatever which um now she is pregnant she's with in a whole nother relationship and she's actually expecting a baby right now um soldier and um, uh, Nia, her question was, are you with soldier just for his money? And his question was, are you planning to ask Nia to marry you within the next year? He said, yes, it show he was telling the truth. And she said, no, she wasn't with him just for the money in the show. She was telling the truth. Um, Lil Mo and Carl. Yeah, I think that's the last, the last ones. 
Lamont Carl, so Lil Mo's question was, do you think Carl is currently cheating on you? She said no, and it came back truthful, which I don't know why. And his question was, when you were in the kitchen on the phone, on the FaceTime, were you telling the truth about who you were talking to? Which he said he was talking to his sister. He said he was telling the truth. He was talking to his sister, and it came back that he was telling the truth. However, he was bragging about how he um, could pass a lie detector test. Lil Mo also indicated that she had him take a lie detector test about a previous incident that they had. He did show that he was deceitful, but he constantly was always bragging about being able to um, fool a lie detector test. And so the counselors asked him or whatever, you know, we did you try to fool this test? And he's like, no, no, no. But then when he went back to his room, once again, it's like, you don't remember you mic'd up, cameras everywhere. He was talking about how he could feel the test. At the end of the day, you here to do these exercises. You here to work on your marriage and your situation. And obviously, you and your wife have issues, issues that you have brought on to the situation. Everything is caused by you. And you can be here and you can take advantage of the situation and, you know, participate in the process and try to to better your situation and, and be honest and try to start new and really change who you are or you can be here because it's a tv show to get a check and go back home and have the same fucked up ass relationship that you've been having and so it's like where are you at because it's like you don't have an, you don't have enough respect for your wife to take this process seriously because regardless of it being a reality show these people are professionals and they are here to help your relationship or whatever. So it's like, basically, you playing games, you out here not telling the truth, still up to the fuckery, still up to the fuck shit, doing the bullshit, not giving a fuck. And, you know, at some point, your wife will get fed up like she has with the previous two husbands before. She will get fed up with the bullshit and she will divorce you just like she has with the previous two husbands before. She is not afraid of divorce. I'm sure her divorce attorney is on speed dial. That's probably her number one favorite in her phone. So, you know, play these games if you want to. But in the end, who's the one that's going to end up hurt? You are. So, you know, that was the recap of marriage boot camp um next week is the finale and it um will be the um time when everybody you know decides that they're going to stay together or if they're going to go um most of the time on these shows everybody ends up staying together even the ones that fight the most it's, it's very rare that you know it may only be one couple that say that they won't be together or whatever um oh they also took at the end when they took everybody's rings to get ready for the final ceremony they were like, oh, okay, so this is like you're your single again. So every we're going to go out. They split them to one, the group of guys, the group of girls. And they're like, y'all going to go out on the town and be single and have fun. So they went to the same strip club, but they put them in different areas. So they didn't know that they was at the same strip club. So they had like the guys like in the strip club, like watching the dancers, throwing money and everything. And the girls was kind of like in the back and it happened to be AOD I think it was called which was the strip club that Tiffany worked at so she was like I used to work there so I had to use the bathroom so she goes and she sees the guys so then she goes back and tells the ladies that you know the guys are here so that kind of is where it ends so that's where we'll pick up next week is that they're at the strip club you know and they all come together and there's gonna be some sort of um altercation or whatever in the parking lot as they prepare to leave so that's this week's episode of Marriage Boot Camp. I will see you next week for the season finale to find out who stays together and who does not. Um, my prediction, the only people that I think are not going to stay together, possibly um, Soldier Boy and Nia. I think Soldier Boy will say that he wants to be with Nia and she won't. But then on the flip side, she's made a statement that I can't really tell if he's being serious until we actually get out of here. So I feel like... I mean, I know they're not together now, the way soldiers out here in these streets, but I feel like maybe she might say yes, and then at some point they broke up on the outside. But we obviously know Tiffany and Fizz, they're not going to pick each other because they're not together. They're already broken up, and there's nothing like they've basically been moving on, even though he alleges that if she would act right, that he would have um, got back with her, but I doubt that. So whatever so everybody else though i think will choose to stay in their situations um so yeah that's this episode i will see you in my next one